What's up guys, it's Nate Bauer from Nate Bauer Fitness and in this video, we're wrapping your hands. We have a set of hand wraps, we got some hockey tape, we're gonna wrap your hands up nicely, use this hockey tape for some added wrist support so that you feel really comfortable when you put your hands in your gloves and you can just go to work without worrying about messing up your hand or your wrist. All right guys, let's show you how to do this. All right, so I gotta put my hand wraps, I got my tape. First things first, I'm just gonna put my tape to the side. Again, I always tell my clients, um, fighters, PT, clients, whatever, you should always roll your hand wraps, hand wraps up after you train. So when you put these bad boys on, it's really simple to do that so you're not wasting time in your session or in your, in your PT session or your training session. So first thing, unravel these, okay? It's nice when they're not wrinkled, so you can do this really quickly. So again, what you wanna do, I'm gonna wrap my left hand, is make sure the sewn part is flat, okay? Is down, I should say. Make sure that sewn part is down. I want to go to my wrist first. Okay, so a couple times around the wrist. So let's do twice around the wrist. Again, guys, my see how my fingers are always wide. That really helps. So that when I, if these are really tight across the knuckles, and when I make a fist, you'll see it'll kind of jam them together. We don't want that. So keep your fingers wide. So now here, go up to the pinky. Wrap twice. All right, so these are Mexican style wraps. They're nice and long. That's why, you know, we can kind of use it as we want type thing. So from here, and then go back down to the, to the wrist to lock that in. Then go once around your thumb. Thumb is done, okay? Then back down to the wrist again. Okay, so you have a nice firm base to start with. Now from this, I wanna go to the opposite side so I get that angle across my hand. So here, I wanna go across in between the pinky Okay, across again. Again, nice and snug, not tight. And through my middle, when I pull through, I don't want to be really tight because it'll start to hurt after a while. So nice and snug, through again. And if these get messed up, you just obviously fix them up. And then here, okay. And then once I get those in, I literally just go once around the base of my fingers so that those are locked in. And then the rest, I do one, two crosses, flip this and then down. So other thing too guys, see if, if this is flipped backwards, that's not a big deal, you just turn it over. Okay, and then just lock these bad boys in. All right, lock it. So you'll see sometimes you wrap your hands and it gets a little bit funky like this. So that's all good. So let's show you, obviously we, we wrapped one of these a little bit too much because we don't have enough room to go down on the wrist. And for me, it's okay to have my support there because I'm used to hitting the heavy bag. My wrists are pretty strong. But if you're you know, a beginner or you don't have strong wrists, it's nice to come down you know, maybe two or three inches actually from, your, from the bottom of your hand so you really cover the wrist. So let's do this again. So I'm gonna take this off and show you this again, okay? So let's go once around the wrist Let's go twice around the base of my hand, okay? Let's go once around the thumb. Let's go back down to the wrist. Let's go once through the fingers. Again, my hands are wide. Once through the middle, across my wrist again. Across my wrist again. And then through here, down to the wrist. Great, let's bring this down a little bit deeper. And let's go below the fingers. Lock that in, and see I have a little more room now, a little more space, a little more wrap. So now I can go here to my wrist a bit more. And realistically for me, that's a good enough wrap. But if you don't think it's good enough, then you can go up and make that cross pattern one more time, and then go down here so that's really secure. And then you can see now I have a bit more space at the bottom. So I can go a little deeper down my hand and lock that in, all right? So that's nice and strong. So that's what it should kind of look like on the bottom. All right, so nice and firm. Not super tight. If I make a fist, a nice tight fist, this shouldn't be super tight where you can feel my fingers squeezing together. I should have breathing room so I can open and close my hand. All right, because if it gets too tight, you won't even want to hit hard because it's going to hurt. So it should be snug, not tight, super tight. The only place I could be really, you know, a little more snug is at the wrist. Okay, so once I do that, I take my hockey tape and you kind of want to get a nice chunk out for the first piece. Okay, and then take this, wrap it around the bottom part of your wrist. Okay, lock this in this way. And I just like to make sure it's snug so it doesn't slip. 
and then pull some more out and then snug it up here. Again, you can just wrap that down. Go once, keep your fingers wide around the hand like that, okay? And then just come down to the wrist again. You can make sure that's a little neater, okay? Get that in. And then once you're down here, you just finish off by making one or two laps around the wrist. Get that off, snug it up nice and tight. And that right there, you have a nice support around the knuckles, right, to keep everything nice and snug. And that added support for your wrist gives you, and you can see what it looks like here. It's nothing severe, guys. It's not a huge amount of tape. But I can tell you right now, if you have problems with your wrist and you keep jamming your wrist, try this little cross piece. Pretty basic, pretty simple, nice and tight, good to go. Try that and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll get a nice snug and confident feel in your gloves when you're hitting hand pads in the heavy bag and even sparring. All right guys, comment, subscribe. Thanks for checking it out and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.